This is Code.org. I'm currently working on their CS Discoveries course. I'm on Unit 3, Animation and Games, Lesson 18, Collisions, Part 14. I see code. Is this our... Yep, so this is the game we've been working on the last few levels. Yours might look a bit different than mine uh, because we got to make our own. Okay, so regardless, let's see what we're doing. Right now, your coin is moving to random locations. That that means sometimes it will appear behind your obstacle, so your character can't get to it. Using sprites interactions, you can fix this problem. Okay. Do this. Add code to your game to prevent the coin from moving behind the obstacle. Don't be afraid to try out ideas just to see how they work. Oh, discuss with your neighbor, hi neighbor, which sprite interaction you decided to use. Is there more than one way sprite interaction? Then one sprite interaction that works the way you'd expect. Is there more than one that is there more than one sprite interaction that works the way you'd expect? Okay. Let's see. So we want yep. So how can we do this? Hmm. We could do a bounce off, we could do a displace. Ooh, displace would mean it pushes it out of the way. Hmm. And then let's see examples of displace. Most makes this sprite push the target as long as they are touching. Okay. I want to use displace, I think. So, if... We're going to need a control, so if, and I'm going to put it way down here, right? So if, and then we're going to want in our if statement, this is a conditional, this is when the computer checks for something, um, if collide, wait, if is touching, hover over that and drop, what's our sprite's name? Our sprite's name is, well, character is the variable, and then Oh, no, we want coin. So if the coin's touching the obstacle, so if coin is touching obstacle, yes, yes. All right, if it's touching the obstacle, and I said I want to try displace. So if they're touching, let's see, I want the coin to dis coin displace obstacle and I believe that will move the coin but let's hit run so it's hard to test with how small my obstacle is so I'm gonna change because I changed the scale I'm gonna just change this to 0.5 let's see if this helps And then I'm going to change it again. Oops, let's hit reset to 1, which was large. It looks like it is not. So it definitely is not going under our ice cream cone. Oh, so the coin's pushing our obstacle. I see what's happening. Okay. So we want, I need to flip these then. I want this to say coin. I want this to say obstacle. And then we should have the obstacle be pushing the coin. Uh-oh, is there... So if obstacle displace coin. Okay. Hmm. I don't see where our coin is going. 
when that occurs. I'm going to make the coin larger now too. Character coin obstacle. Obstacle scale, let's do coin scale. I'm going to say my scale is 2, which I believe will make it 200%. It will, but why is it disappearing? Is it just off the screen? Oh, I wonder if it's getting pushed up. So if our obstacle is smaller, it won't disappear entirely. Let's see if that's what's happening. So I'm going to put my obstacle down again to, let's say, 0.5. Is that fine? I believe that's what was happening. Our coin was getting pushed off this screen. So I'm going to put this at point 0.2 again. I'm going to actually lower my Y variable for my obstacle because or increase it. I want it down here. So I'm going to set this to 150. Okay. And I'm just making it that big to test. Great. So now let's put my coin. I don't need to change the coin scale. I'm going to get rid of that. And so the code that I actually needed, though, what I used was displace. Coin is touching obstacle. We're going to displace the coin, right? We're going to push the coin somewhere else. Awesome. Let's keep going.